Hello all, welcome to EC Electronics. In today's video, we are going to see some MCQ questions on semiconductor theory. So whatever electronics related companies interview you are going to attend, they will surely ask you some basic uh, questions on semiconductors because it is the basic or the core subject of electronics itself. So you should be having a very clear understanding of what is semiconductor theory, what are the various properties. Uh, so some questions I have included from semiconductor theory in today's video. So please do watch this video till the end. Also, if you are seeing the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to the channel. So let's see the questions one by one. I have included some basic questions in this video. The advanced questions or little more difficult questions we'll be seeing in the next part. So the first question is, it is a very basic question. A semiconductor is formed by dash bonds. The options are covalent to electrovalent, coordinate, none of this. So it is a very basic question of semiconductors itself. So semiconductors are formed by the very famous covalent bonding. So covalent bonding is a bond formed between two uh, atoms by sharing their electrons. So this type of sharing of electrons, this bond is called covalent bond. So the answer is semiconductors are formed by covalent bond. Okay. Next question, semiconductor has dash temperature coefficient of resistance. There are two type of temperature coefficients uh, of resistance. Uh, it can be either positive or negative or it is zero. So here uh, for the case of semiconductors, we have heard that when we increase uh, uh, the temperature of semiconductors, then the electron uh, bonds or the covalent bonds tend to break and free electrons will be formed. So this step of this process happen. So they are having negative temperature coefficient of resistance. So when the uh, temperature is increased, free electrons or hold, holes based on the type of semiconductor that we are using, it increases, the conductivity is increasing. So they are having negative temperature coefficient of resistance. Resist the next question, is actually related with a question we have discussed before when a pure semiconductor is heated when a pure semiconductor if it is heated its resistance dash whether it goes up whether it goes down it remains the same and can't say so we have just now discussed that a semiconductor is having negative temperature coefficient of resistance negative means it goes down so as the temperature is increasing or if the material is or if the semiconductor is being heated, the resistance will go down. Okay, so that is a question. When a pentavalent impurity is added to a pure semiconductor, it becomes dash. So the process of adding before uh, answering the question, the process of adding of impurities to the semiconductor is called doping. We can add two types of impurities. It can be either pentavalent. Pentavalent means it is having five valence electrons in the outer shell or they are having five valence electrons or it can be trivalent trivalent means they are only having three valence electrons now this question is asking when a pentavalent impurity is added to the pure semiconductor it becomes dash an insulator an intrinsic semiconductor a p type or an n type so pentavalent means there is one extra electron a silicon uh, atom requires only four valence electron to be in pair with, uh, that is to be in a, val in a covalent bond. But there is one more electron because the impurity is penta. Penta means five, pentavalent uh, impurity. So there is an excess electron present there due to which number of electrons in the, uh, in the, in the system or in the material is getting increased. In the semiconductor, the number of electron is getting increased and it becomes an N type. When the number of electrons is more, we say it as an N type semiconductor. When there is more number of holes, we say it as P type semiconductor. You should know that holes are just vacancy of electrons, which will create a positive charge. So when there is a vacancy of an electron, we know electrons are negatively charged. So there is a vacancy of a negative charge. It will uh, create a positive charge and that we call as a hole. Okay. So anyway, when we add a pentavalent impurity, pentavalent means five valence electron. There is one more uh, valence electron, which is additional and which will create an N-type semiconductor. 
The last question that we are going to see in today's video is addition of pentavalent impurity to a semiconductor creates many dash. 1. Free electrons, 2 holes, 3 valence electron, 4 bond electrons. Just now we have seen or just now we have discussed that uh, by adding of pentavalent impurity there will be more electrons created because an, a silicon atom requires 4 adjacent electrons to be in covalent bond. Okay, I'll be including a picture of that structure. That is when a silicon atom is paired with the adjacent uh, silicon atoms. Uh, what is happening? I'll include here. So, a silicon atom only requires four electrons to be in uh, covalence bond with the other, uh, other uh, four silicon atoms. Or it only requires four electrons to be in pair with. But here, when we are adding pentavalent impurity, there is one more electron coming to the structure or into the semiconductor so more and more pentavalent impurities if you are adding more and more free electrons are created so the correct answer is addition of pentavalent impurity will create free electrons more free electrons are created here so these are the questions that i have included in today's video we will see a little bit uh, more advanced question in the next part so if you found the video useful please like the video and share the video with your friends uh, please tell them to subscribe. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.